Welcome to our lecture online. I decided to add a third part, taking the results that we got in the previous two videos and taking it to the limit. But in this case, what we're going to do is ask ourselves the question, what happens if the line charge becomes infinitely large, but it's only half from, from zero to infinity on one direction, we don't have a line charge on the other side, so there's no symmetry here, and we want to know the electric tilt at this point as the length of that line charge becomes infinite in one direction. So yeah, I should put down in one direction. Okay, so we go back to the equation over here. What we're going to do now is go, let L go to infinity. So if L goes to infinity, what do we get? We get E as let me first write that down because that's important that we make note of that. So as L goes to infinity, what happens here? So the electric field will now become approximately as, you know, as we are on the path of making infinity. We could write this as a K lambda over Y times. Now here, notice we have L squared plus Y squared. If L becomes nearly infinity, and y is therefore a very tiny number relative to that, we can simply get rid of the y there and simply write it as L squared. So this can now be written as y over L squared. Remember that L goes to infinity. This y squared becomes essentially zero in reference to that. And this thing is now raised to the one half power, minus one. And notice that this is in the x direction. And now over here, the same thing. So L goes to infinity. Uh, so that would be plus, we have now L over L squared to the one-half power. Notice that this Y squared again becomes a very tiny number relative to the L squared. Remember that it approaches infinity. It doesn't become infinity because once it becomes infinity, that's not defined. There is no such thing as infinity. And so therefore, we cannot make L infinity, but we can let L get close to infinity. And that means that Y squared and essential become zero in reference and that's then in the y direction, like that. So, let's explore this a little bit more. So now this can now be written as k lambda over y. We have now y over l minus one, and that is in the x direction, plus, and here again we get l over l in the y direction. Now, this is often misunderstood because when people look at this and they say, hey, you have L over L, now you let L go to infinity, infinity divided by infinity is undefined. You're absolutely correct. That's mathematically correct. However, we don't let L become infinity. We let L approach infinity, make it larger and larger and larger, but not, never quite infinity. You can always add something to a very large number. Take a trillion, add another trillion, add another trillion, keep adding more numbers to it, but never get to infinity then this ratio will go to one in the limit as L approaches infinity, but doesn't actually become infinity. And over here, Y over L, well, if L goes to infinity, not quite get there, but becomes very large, this essentially becomes zero. And so now we can write this as K lambda over Y times zero minus one in the X direction plus one in the Y direction. Oop, that should be a bracket here. Let me make that into a bracket. There we go. And then finally, we can write the answer. We can now say that the electric field is equal to minus k lambda over y in the x direction and plus k lambda over y in the y direction. And there it is. That is now the electric field if we let the line charge become infinitely long in one direction, of course, nothing on the other direction. Notice that the magnitude of the two components in the x and the y direction are equal to one another. It's just that this is pointing in the negative x direction and that's pointing in the positive y direction. But essentially, the magnitudes of both components are now hmm, exactly the same. It's kind of a, an interesting result. And so the angle uh, would then be at a 45 degree angle uh, pointing to the upper left. And that is how it's done. It's an interesting result. <laughs> What's that? Oh, somewhere else? No, no. We've done others like it. Well, we'll, we'll get many more, many more examples. What about the L is infinite in the other direction? Oh, well, then you have an electric field going this way.
Um, now we'll see many more examples. This is interesting though, I never expected that to be the case. All right, we're out of ENM for today, uh, but I do have to JE Advanced.